eyes have gotten worse and I don't really want to take that chance to be Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Yombo. So today I want to talk to you about the decision that I've made regarding whether or not I'm going to take the drug hydroxychloroquine. I have taken my sweet time researching, I've mentioned this, I did do a vlog. The side effects for me generally was just too, too many side effects and to be fair some of them are common and some of them are not however I am not I wasn't liking the on a part of the side effects which meant there was itching and scratching I was like uh, no a dermatologist as I mentioned before had suggested before I start I should go and see my optician I hadn't seen my optician for two years it was supposed to be every two years anyway I'll do a visit and the optician was a bit shocked because my eyes had deteriorated quite a bit and I, I actually told her the reason why I was there regarding hydroxychloroquine and she said she hadn't actually seen any cases where you know eyes had uh, gotten worse because patients had been using it but then again she was quite young so I'm not sure she'd had many too many years experience so if she had been a bit older I don't know Maybe if she was in her 40s or 50s, you know, then I'd say fine, but I was going to disregard that anyway. But at least it's not that bad, whereby it's really a common thing, you know, for patients to turn up and say, you know, it's got to do with the side effects of this drug. So pretty much I was going on the way she sort of like, what's happened in the two years? She was quite shocked and it's like, wow. Well, you know, she kept on asking me, I don't know, you know, and I wasn't really going to talk to her about topical storage withdrawal. She probably wouldn't understand. I wasn't even going to go there with that. And so that's what got me thinking, like, wow, there's a side effect that doesn't sit right with me. And then my eyes have gotten worse and I don't really want to take that chance. To be fair, like I mentioned, my dermatologist has said that because of the strength which she'd prescribed for me, which was 200 mg, it shouldn't really affect my eyesight, but you know, go ahead and have regular eye checks. And I thought, I think that's my sign right there. The fact that I'm still oohing and ahhing about whether or not to take it, then I go for my optician test and um, it's not good. So I guess you guess now <laughs> what the answer is. I'm not gonna take it. I've come too far now and where I am at my skin at the moment I'm actually happy with the progress I'm, I'm getting more and more comfortable and I keep mentioning that I'm going to do a vlog on what I'm using I don't want to mention it and it's good so I'm in a good place and I really can't t take a risk of taking a drug that might or that I might or might not have side effects I'm just not gonna do it really really not gonna do it it's not worth it what I'm using at the moment doesn't have any side effects hence why I'm using it you know there's none none whatsoever except it makes your skin well it just improves your whole immune system and it just fits like that into my system okay so that's pretty much it I'm not gonna use hydroxychloroquine because my eyesight have gotten worse and I don't want to risk it. And number two, I'm happy with where I am with my skin. Things are looking great. Maybe, maybe initially, maybe five years ago, I probably would have tried it then, but not right now. I've come too far in the game and I don't want anything to stress me out because just thinking about it, it was stressing me out so that's another sign you know and the moment I decided I didn't want to use it I felt so much better so there you go that's it thank you very much for watching liking subscribing and sharing I'll see you in my next vlog take care goodbye <laughs>